Hey there, fellow K-drama enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel, where we're about to dive deep into the world of heart-stealing second leads. Get ready to swoon, laugh, and maybe even shed a tear as we count down the top 10 K-dramas that left us rooting for the underdog. But before we jump in, make sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to share this video with your fellow K-drama addicts. Let's get this heart-fluttering journey started. In 18, again, Lee Ha Joon is a pitcher who is one of the biggest baseball stars in Korea. After Young Da Jung interviews him, he immediately takes a liking to her. However, he had to let go of Young Da Jung after realizing that she is still in love with her ex-husband, Hong Dae Young. A favored trope amongst many, where every girl wants to be with him, but he only has eyes for one. Their relationship is a fairy tale esque romance that unravels as his feelings for Da Jung remain strong. 18 Again is available on Netflix. An oldie but saving the best, and by best we mean one of the most heartbreaking occurrences of second lead syndrome. Beck Inho is easily favored in Cheese in the Trap. It's one of the rare shows where many fans disliked the male lead from the start, and it doesn't help that the male lead is portrayed as a sociopath. From the very beginning of the show, many had disliked the male lead Yu Jung. There was something about him that didn't settle quite right with viewers and many didn't think he had a character arc throughout the drama worthy of giving him any sympathy. Baek In-ho, on the other hand, was someone who was continuously caring for the main lead Hong Seol. He was devoted and passionate, always honest and too easy to love when he was with her. The two characters were essentially enemies, making it all that much more heartbreaking when Hong Seol ended up with Yu Jung. In the drama Extraordinary Yu, Lee Jae-wook plays Baek Kyung, a guy whom Yoon Dan Oh, Kim Hai Yoon, has one-sidedly loved for 10 years. Due to their family connections, the two are even engaged. However, Baek Kyung has shown nothing but indifference toward Yoon Dan Oh as a typical bad boy that Yoon Dan Oh cannot help but love. However, things start to turn around as Yoon Dan Oh realizes she is a character in a manhwa, Korean comic, and starts to pay attention to another character named Haru, Rowoon, after figuring out that he is the key to changing her destiny in the comic. Baek Kyung starts to notice a change in Yoon Dan-oh's attitude toward him and begins to open his heart. With this show, there's more than meets the eye, and once we see his character development come through, it's hard not to sympathize and root for him. It's quite clear that Dan-oh and Haru will end up together, but it doesn't stop us from feeling the weight of second lead syndrome. Based on a popular webtoon, Nevertheless is a romance drama that tells the story of two people who are attracted to each other but are cynical about love, owing to their past relationships. Yuna Bi is a student at Hong Seo University's sculpture department. She's experienced a toxic relationship with her first love and feels jaded by the past. While she's given up on the idea of love, she still wants to go out on dates and feel loved. Park Jae-on is also attending the same university, and while he thinks relationships are a burden, he enjoys the chase and flirting part of it all. He's warm, kind, and friendly to everyone, a disposition that easily leads others on, but he also rarely shows his true feelings. Yang Do Hyok is Nabi's childhood friend, who runs a popular cooking show on YouTube and cooks for a living now. The two run into each other on the bus, as adults, and they reunite again. His first love was Nabi, and it's clear he still feels the same way about her. While it's unclear who exactly is the second lead here, it's hard not to be swayed by either guys. Based on a webtoon, the series follows Shin Woo Yo, a 999-year-old nine-tailed fox is set on becoming human, and Lee Dam is a university student majoring in history. When we're first introduced to Guy Sun Woo, Lee Dam's popular senior in college, he seems like the typical arrogant character. He places a bet on Lee Dam's affection and seems to be drawn by her hard-to-get disposition. But as the show continues, we get actual character growth and see how he continues to pursue her, respectfully. It's hard not to root for him, even though we know it isn't in the cards for them. The next K-drama on our list is the ever-popular 2020-21 drama True Beauty. This drama not only filled the hearts of K-drama lovers, but has been a favorite webtoon for the past few years. Main characters Im Ju Jong, played by Moon Ga Young, Lee Su Ho, played by Cha Yun Woo, and Han Seo Jun, played by Huang In Yop, spend the entirety of the drama running circles between their own emotions and the regular high school dramas. Though this K-drama has probably one of the best plots, there is a mild case of second lead syndrome. 
While Suho and Ju Jiang are absolutely adorable together, both have a lot of similarities and the right personality for each other. There's something about how sweetly Seo Jun treats Ju Gyeong that gets you falling for him as well. He's a little rough around the edges, but he doesn't take that out on Ju Gyeong. In fact, it seems like he starts changing for the better because of her. However, both guys after Ju Gyeong's heart are great in their own way. Neither of them treats her poorly or does things that make us dislike their character. So really, this second lead syndrome only comes about if you lean more towards Seo Jun. Jung Hyun played the second lead in the Korean drama While You Were Sleeping in 2017. The drama is a fantasy thriller that tells the story of a young woman with psychic abilities who meets the prosecutor working on her criminal cases, played by Lee Jong Suk. Jung Hyun played the character Han Woo Tak, a police officer working with the prosecutor. While in some cases the second lead in Korean dramas have a tough exterior, Han Woo Tak is the exception. Gentle, caring, and soft, Wu Tak is a supportive friend to Nam Hong Ju and Jung Jae Chan. While he's always quietly in the background, it's hard to ignore the longing moments he shares with Hong Ju and the fact that his phone background is a silhouette of the two together. The second K drama on our list is Love in the Moonlight, a historical drama that gives us just as much second lead syndrome as any other. With the ever loved actor Park Bo Gum playing as the main lead Prince Lee Yong, it was hard to even look away from him. But Kim Yoon Sung, played by Jun Jin Young, is so charismatic and dedicated to lead Hong Ra On, played by Kim Yu Jung, that it's hard not to fall a little in love with him too. From a distance, Yoon Sung continued to show his love for Ra On in the only way he could. Even his willingness to do anything for her was enough to root for him. Of course, Prince Yong isn't a bad character, so it turned into a battle for viewers much like that in True Beauty. Both characters are lovable in their own right, it's all just a matter of taste as to who you ended up rooting for. Compared to some of the other dramas, Startup had quite the impactful punch with the second lead syndrome. Viewers absolutely adored the second lead and were devastated when he didn't get the girl in the end. The main characters include Seo Dalmi, played by Bae Suzy, Nam Dosan, played by Nam Joo Hyuk, and our unfortunate second lead Han Ji Pyong, played by Kim Seon Ho. From the very beginning of the show, the audience was falling in love with Ji Pyong's character. He had the background, the hopes and dreams, and the passion many expected for the main lead. He suffers, though, from not admitting his feelings to Dalmi and is left on the sidelines. The love triangle between the three main characters is entwined with a lot of lies, drama, and broken hearts. The whole show is an up and down of emotions, a spinning confusion of feelings. Dosan wasn't necessarily a bad character, he just wasn't the one viewers were in love with since the beginning. Ji Pyong had always put Dalmi first and had the sweetest relationship with her grandmother. It shouldn't be a surprise that many hoped he'd be the end goal. Well, there you have it, folks. We hope you enjoyed reminiscing about these unforgettable K-drama moments with us. If you're as smitten with those second leads as we are, don't forget to show some love by hitting that subscribe button, ringing that notification bell, and giving us a thumbs up if you had a blast. And hey, Share this video with your fellow drama addicts so they can join the fun too. Now before we wrap up, tell us in the comments which second lead character melted your heart the most and why. We can't wait to hear your thoughts.